What's going on? Welcome to this USB port relocation video. This USB port that you see right here did not used to be there. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, how to relocate a USB port in your car to wherever you want, basically, if your USB port is in a less than desirable location. Now, my USB port used to be right here. It's still there, but now there's an extension going from right there to that spot right there. And that allows me to have a short cable that just goes straight from that port to my phone, which always sits right here. And it's always plugged in because I always use Android Auto and it's just much more convenient. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video. Let's get right to it. All that is required to get this done is about an hour's worth of time and one of these USB extension cables. These are actually very decent quality and very inexpensive. And I'll link to this one you see right here in the video description. It comes with everything that you'll need for the install. Now, if you don't have a WRX or STI, make sure that you measure your cable run because this particular cable was just long enough for my install and also plug in the cable ahead of time to make sure that it works perfectly before committing. This cap right here, you can choose to use it or not, but that right there is about all the preparation that you're gonna need ahead of time so let's go ahead and get this done disconnect the gear shift knob by rotating it counterclockwise until it comes out right beneath it you'll find the reverse locking mechanism and the boot underneath it has to go over it so grab the edge of that boot and carefully work it around the reverse gear lock move back to the emergency brake and grab the cover from under it and then pull it upward until you hear it snap Move it out of the way and that'll reveal one of the screws holding the center console in place. We'll get to that screw in a sec, but first reach inside your armrest and with a ratcheting wrench, an extension and a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two screws that are housed in there. Grab your Phillips screwdriver and remove that screw under the emergency brake cover. Then move the cover completely out of the way and pull the center console upward until you hear the retaining pin next to the screw snap. Now we'll be able to lift it up a little bit and move it backward a few inches to give us the access that we need. With it out of the way, we can snap the shift bezel out carefully. Now remember that the STI logo is lit, so just tilt it to the side so you can unplug that logo's connector. Back at the bench, we can take a closer look to find the best spot for the USB port. This part will require some drilling, and if you get this cable, you'll need a one and one eighth inch drill bit for the hole. If you have this particular car, you might be tempted to put the port back here because it seems perfect. But once installed in the car, there won't be any room back there. Regardless of the car you have, make sure that you check if the port will fit properly once that bezel is installed back. I settled on this area right here because as you can see, there's plenty of room behind it. This spot right here was perfect for me. So we'll grab the drill bit and mark the spot where we will drill. And then very carefully, we're gonna make the hole by pulsing the drill. Make sure you go slow and retain good control of the drill throughout this so that you don't go right through and damage anything underneath. After a quick cleanup, we're going to be ready to get this cable through. The nut that comes with this cable is hard plastic and you can mostly tighten it by hand. Once finger tight, check the alignment of the port on the other side and then adjust it if necessary. If you need to, use a wrench to finish tightening it, but only slightly because it is plastic and you can easily strip it. And there we go. It's perfect right there. And as you can see, there's plenty of room on the back of the USB port on here. Now there's one more hole that we have to drill. Back inside the car, carefully tilt that center console all the way back so that you can access the cables under it. There are three plugs back here that we need to unplug. And as always, make sure that you push in the tabs on them before you start pulling them. Sometimes a flathead screwdriver makes the job easier. This cable right here is secured to the console with a retaining clip. So use that screwdriver to push on the sides of the clip to get that out without breaking it. Once you get that out, take it to the bench. Our goal here is to have this cable go under the console. So we have to make an access hole for it since in my case, there's no place for me to route it. So I'm gonna flip this thing over and simply go right below where the cable will end up plugged in. For this hole, I am using a 5 8 inch bit, which is just enough to fit the head of the USB cable. And just like the other hole we just drilled, we're gonna make this happen again by pulsing the drill. Take a few seconds to clean up your mess, and then we're gonna test for fitment. And there, it fits perfectly. Back in the car, roughly where the shift bezel is going, we're gonna start securing this cable with zip ties. In this car, there is a very convenient cable pathway here on the right side, so I'm simply securing the zip ties to those cables. After trimming the zip ties, make sure that you plug the STI logo back, and then we can snap the bezel in place. 
Behind the shift bezel, we're gonna do a little bit more cable management with some zip ties. The important thing is that the cable isn't just loose down here and that you don't create rattle points. So when you're done attaching all of the zip ties, go ahead and trim them. And then we're gonna grab the center console and lean it back here temporarily. Now make sure that you plug in every cable that we unplugged earlier and that you clip them back into place. And as you can guess, we're gonna grab the USB cable and we're gonna put it through the hole that we just drilled. If you have this car, make sure that you put the cable under this metal bracket right here or you're going to end up pinching it. And with that, we can lower the console and reverse all of these steps to get this thing secured back on the car. To finish, cut an access slit on that little carpet that goes inside the armrest and with that, we can put it back right where it goes. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. This was a very quick and easy installation and very inexpensive too. I think it cost me less than $20 to get this completely done and it took me less than an hour and it's very, very useful. Now I can plug my phone in with a very short cable that goes right from there to my phone and I don't have to have a cable just laying on the side here and going into the armrest where it gets pinched right here every time I would close it and it's just better looking and cleaner. So. If you got something out of this video, make sure you give it a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'm going to get going on the next video. I'll see you there.